So I actually um, don't like uh, Menapur as a drug uh, or Letrozole. I, I don't think that leads to the best quality. I, I think it's they're poor drugs. Folistim is a good source of FSH and uh, 20 of HCG is understandable because you need both of those uh, to get a quality. You need the FSH or the folly stem for getting um, uh, recruitment of more eggs, but the HCG to get the better quality eggs. Um, I don't believe that, I believe your dosage is too high, and uh, I think it would be stupid to do lupagen and lovinox, which are, a, lovinox being uh, a uh, blood uh, thinner, just for the sake of doing it. That, that's just uh, throwing your hands up in the air and taking a, a grab at something. It's, it's like, a, like a slot machine. It, it's, there's no reason for it to work or do anything unless you had a specific thrombophilia defect, which can be diagnosed accurately. And obviously you don't have that or you'd mention that. But here's what I think based on what you told me. Microdose HCG is not the same as LH. LH is the hormone that your pituitary makes that's necessary in the beginning of your cycle for egg quality and of course results in ovulation when your follicles are ready in gigantic no, in a gigantic quantity. In other words, tw 20 units of HCG now, but then when you're ready to trigger ovulation, it'd be 10,000 units. So there's just a, a gigantic difference. But that low amount of HCG and that high amount of HCG later have two entirely different effects. So the low HCG uh, administration in the early part of your cycle uh, is necessary, but since you are not producing good eggs and you're not getting pregnant and having a baby, much better is the actual real LH. If you, HCG is okay, but if it's not working, you need LH. There's only one way to get LH uh, because it's got a one hour half-life. And so we can't administer it and we can't buy it. and We can't get it from a pharmaceutical company, but we can get your pituitary to make LH. Just, they tried with letrozole, but that's a very poor, weak drug uh, with Clomid. So Clomid is an anti-estrogen that tells your pituitary that there's less estrogen and so your pituitary makes more LH and FSH, and a modest increase in LH and FSH. Too much FSH is just going to really hurt the eggs that we're going to get. But you want to aim for LH. So that's why a mini IVF protocol, I think, is going to get you better quality eggs. And it's not the case with everyone. But in your situation, it's obvious that you need to aim for the best quality eggs. That would be my approach. And I wouldn't, and I'd go scientifically, and I wouldn't just go by grabbing Neutrogen or Neutrogen or, uh, uh, or, or any, or, or certainly Lovenox, which is a anticoagulant, uh, that's not going to do anything. Okay. Mm -hmm.